Disney cast members holding a heartbreaking vigil for their pregnant co-worker who was tragically killed as she walked with her husband, her infant now fighting for her life. And tonight we're learning new details about the woman accused of fleeing the scene. Orange County reporter Jessica Denova joins us live with that. Jessica. Guys, just minutes ago, the victim's husband arrived to this beautiful show of support from people who worked alongside his wife, Yesenia Aguilar. Now, uh, they all worked together at Disneyland. She was a main gate employee, bringing happiness to all the people who visited the park. Meanwhile, earlier, the suspect in this tragedy appeared in court virtually, but we actually only heard her voice, never saw her image. And we learned that she has an extensive criminal history. Dozens of Disney cast members honoring their co-worker Yesenia Aguilar and her family days after her tragic death. The mother-to-be was a Disneyland employee welcoming guests at the park's main gate. It's a shock that this happened to, to her. You know, she struggled to have a baby. I remember when she told me she was pregnant, we were all excited for her. Um, we were looking forward to seeing this new baby arrive. Anaheim police say Aguilar, eight months pregnant, was walking with her husband Tuesday night when a Jeep jumped onto the curb, hitting and killing the expectant mother. Her infant left fighting for her life. Behind the wheel, Courtney Fritz Pandolfi of Garden Grove suspected of driving under the influence of drugs. In court via video Thursday, the lead prosecutor asking for an increase in Pandolfi's bail, arguing she's a flight risk. It's alleged that after the defendant knew that she ran over the victim, uh, she told a witness that she wanted to leave the scene. And so that is a, a great concern to the people. The judge setting bail at $3 million. According to the Orange County District Attorney's Office, the defendant is no stranger to impaired driving. Pendolfi has three prior DUI convictions from 2008, 2015, and 2016. The OCDA's office filing charges of murder, DUI, and driving on a suspended license against Pandolfi. Meanwhile, those who knew Aguilar just to show support to her husband and her baby girl, praying for the recovery of her baby and strength for her husband, who shared this uplifting image with Eyewitness News, a sign of hope. His little Adeline Rose now able to breathe on her own. Pandolfi's arraignment was continued to September 4th, along with, get this, a fifth open DUI case, according to the DA's office from, from back in 2019. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.